What's up y'all, my name is Josh Rack and welcome back to my channel and I'm here to bring you product reviews and sometimes even just life thoughts to help you improve your everyday grind. Let's get to it. Today we're taking a comprehensive look at the Gunner G1 crash tested dog kennel. I have the intermediate size, but this review should apply well no matter what size you're looking at. And at the end, I'll help you decide whether or not this is the right kennel for you, so stay tuned for that at the end. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I'm not affiliated with Gunner in any way, shape, or form. They have no idea I'm even making this video. So with that, let's jump right to it. First, I wanna talk about selection and selecting which kennel's right for you. So they have a variety of resources to help you decide which size is right for your kennel, including a fit guide in which they describe the fit should be pretty snug for safety reasons. Think of it like this. In the case of a car crash, you don't want your dog to become a projectile. For that reason, you want as little space around the dog as possible. They have an awesome collection of breed-specific experiences from other owners where you can go see pictures and descriptions of other dogs, their breeds, their sizes, and what size that owner got and how they feel the snugness level of that size is for that dog. That was super helpful for me. I was a little bit on the fence between an intermediate and a large for my Visla Rango, but after looking through the experiences of other owners on this website, I decided that intermediate was definitely the right size and I was correct about that. So I think they give you a pretty good level of confidence about selecting the size of the kennel. Secondly, when it comes to deciding color, I personally went with the tan as you can see, and for me, I kind of made that decision based on the same reasoning that a lot of people get white cars in Arizona, for example. I just didn't want the darker color to potentially absorb more heat and make it hotter for a Rango in the summertime. For that reason, I went with the lighter color. I think it looks pretty good. Other than color, size is definitely the most important thing to look at, and I think they have awesome resources for helping you pick out the right size. Now, beyond the kennel, obviously there's a variety of accessories to consider as you're ordering your Gunner kennel, and I pretty much just went for all the accessories with the exception of the fan that you can install. That was like a $250 accessory or something. But other than that, I would say the main consideration when you think about accessories is be sure about the accessories that you want. There's not a minimum order cost at which point you get free shipping, at least there wasn't when I ordered. And so if I had ordered the kennel and then decided like a week later that I wanted more accessories, I would have had to pay shipping twice. So in order to avoid that, I recommend that you just know all the accessories you want when you order the first time. And lastly, I think they do an awesome job of making the selection process super easy with their online appointment scheduling. Now obviously the checkout process was super easy. I used Apple Pay and come on, it doesn't get easier than that. But then after ordering, I also thought that the shipping was lightning fast. I think it got to me here in the Mountain West region in like three days or something, which was thrilling to me because I'd been contemplating this for months and didn't want to wait two weeks on shipping. Now obviously when you get the kennel, it comes disassembled. I thought that the assembly wasn't too bad, although it was a little bit more cumbersome than I expected. Honestly, I thought the instruction guide was maybe just lacking in a little bit of detail or intuition, and I personally think that I might have gotten an outdated instruction manual, which was a little disappointing. I just remember there being one or two details that weren't exactly as they should have been. That's a little bit nitpicky. Obviously, it's not that crazy to figure out, and it fits together really tight, so just keep that in mind. You'll need some good tools. But honestly, at the end of the day, I would say let's give Gunner the benefit of the doubt because I think I was probably in a little bit of a rush to put it together and that probably was to my detriment. The biggest thing I will say about assembly, if you plan on assembling one anytime soon, is if you have the weather cover, I thought it was just like a temporary accessory that you could put over the top and remove as you want but actually it's a permanent fixture that you have to build into the kennel when you're building it the first time. All right, so you have your kennel put together, it's assembled, it's ready to go, you're ready to load it in the back of your car, truck, whatever it is, and obviously it looks exceptional. First and foremost, let me address the issue of straps. They have those cool orange straps. I thought they looked really sick on the website. Got them in the back of my truck and it just wasn't the look for me. So I ended up going with the black straps. I think I have a picture that I can upload to this video. And there you can see the orange straps as compared with the black straps that you see in the video. Now secondly, let me address the elephant in the room. That is the $30 nameplate. I'm sure this is a divisive topic. Some people I'm sure will be like, why would you spend $30 on a nameplate for your dog? But honestly, I personally just think it looks a little bit, maybe not dumb, but maybe a little bit lackluster without the nameplate. So I mean, if you're gonna spend the, I don't even know how expensive they are anymore, like what is it, six or eight hundred bucks for a kennel? Spend the thirty dollars on the freaking nameplate, I mean come on, it's awesome, it looks great. Now all that being said about how awesome this kennel looks, we don't hunt with our dog. 
He's just a family dog, but we travel with him everywhere. We're always going to dog parks. We're always taking him on road trips to visit family, things like that. And for some reason, this kennel feels and looks like a little bit overkill. And I mean, I guess I kind of get it. Most people with regular family dogs don't have a $700 kennel that swallows the back of their truck bed at all times. But for me, it's a safety thing and it's a convenience thing. And I'll talk more about that at the end when I talk about you know, the kennel considerations if it's right for you. But I pretty much have that thing in the back all the time since we use it multiple times a week and it was totally worth it for us. So all that being said, just be prepared to garner some extra attention with this kennel. And if you're all right with that, I mean, it looks really good, so just own it. With regard to using the kennel, I just couldn't be happier with it. I think it works exactly as advertised. The weather cover works awesome. It keeps all the moisture out, even if it's pouring rain, even if it's snowing sideways. It keeps our dog Rango nice and dry inside the kennel. And honestly, I wouldn't do without it. The other benefit, of the weather cover is I've noticed that it actually keeps the inside of the kennel warmer as you would expect when you keep all the flaps down during the winter time. It is double roto molded and so that extra gap in there I have noticed as you can see in other YouTube videos actually does really help regulate the temperature. The other thing I will say about the weather protector is I didn't notice till after I had it assembled that it came with the webbing routed backwards through the plastic hardware and so that was pretty inconvenient. But as far as temperature regulation and weather protection goes, I think the kennel does an awesome job. You'll also notice on the weather cover that the top is starting to fade a little bit. Of course, I leave it out in the sun all day every day, that's to be expected. Also, that won't be as much of an issue for you if you're able to park your car or your truck in the garage, by the way. What's up? As I was editing this video, I was on the Gunner website and I noticed that they released an all-weather kit 2.0 that was released specifically to address this issue of UV fading on the all-weather kit, which is awesome since that's one of the main complaints that I had about it. If I end up replacing it, I'll definitely be getting the second version. If any of you have it, let me know how it is. Other than that, Kudos to Gunner and let's get back to the video. Now I know I've said I love the weather cover, but I love all the accessories that came with it, including the mat that I got. I know there's a couple different ones. I got the harder one. It's honestly been perfect. It's a lot lighter weight than I thought. It's kind of a plasticky lightweight material, not so much like a heavy duty rubber material, but I've had zero issues with it. Without a pad of some sort in the bottom, it's just kind of that slippery plastic and I know that wouldn't be very comfortable for my dog, so I highly recommend you get something to put in the bottom. Even with having to spray it off multiple times from the mud and him chewing bones in the back and things like that, I've had zero issues. That mat in the bottom still looks good as new. Now you'll notice there's also a plug that you can remove from the back, which makes it super easy to drain water, which is super good for me. I haven't really had water build up in there, even when my dog goes in there wet, but what I have used it for is when I spray it out to clean it and it works perfectly for that. You'll notice there are two latches, one on the top, one on the bottom of the kennel door. For people with really strong dogs or dogs who really try to escape their kennels and bend the doors out on the top and bottom or things like that. Now, in recent months, I've had to stay with my dog in questionable areas as we've traveled together and he wasn't able to stay inside my room with me and this lock on the front has been a game changer. I'm just so happy to be able to lock him up and make sure that he stays safe. I wanna make sure that he's not just okay comfort wise, but that no one else can get to him. Because you know, we like to think the best of everybody, but unfortunately that kind of stuff happens. So definitely recommend keeping that key on you, using it all the time. Now the other thing on the kennel that gives me great peace of mind is I spent the extra money and got the security loop accessory that goes on the back. The only way to steal my dog at this point is if you have you know, some serious cutting ability or if you steal my entire truck. And you know, on top of locking my dog in the kennel and locking the kennel to the truck, I also keep an air tag in my truck. So, you know, hopefully I'll always be able to recover my dog. I have backups on backups. And I just love that the Gunner kennel enables us to have this sort of peace of mind. Now, as you can see with the Gunner security loop, I have my own like nylon coated braided cable that I've had to, you know, loop at the ends and fasten in my own way. I don't think Gunner needs to sell padlocks. But I'm gonna amend that statement. I do think they should sell padlocks and I think they should sell padlocks that are the same lock as the lock on the front of the kennel and they should sell them in sets. I think they should sell a padlock with every kennel that comes with a security loop so that you can have one key on your key ring instead of two. Anyway, Gunner, if you're watching that, that's my piece of feedback for today. 
Uh, other than that, let's get back to the video. I don't think I'll interrupt anymore. I don't think Gunner needs to sell padlocks, but I do wish that they sold the actual tether mechanism so that I didn't have to build this thing myself. Uh, as you can see, you know, the plastic at the end is maybe getting a little janky, things like that. They have pretty much everything else that you could need, so I don't know why they're not selling this, but maybe just an idea for the future if anyone from Gunner's watching this. Other than that, I love all the security features of this kennel, and it's been a game changer for me. These are just some of the details that make this kennel perfect for me. I think the only other gripe that I have with this kennel is the latch on this kennel is a little bit stiff. So. As you can see here, if the door on the kennel is closed all the way, but just hasn't latched yet, it takes a lot of effort to push it the rest of the way and latch it all the way shut. You either have to start with it wide open and slam it shut, or if you have it almost all the way closed, you can pull the handle, push the door in, and then close the handle. In the grand scheme of things, it's a small gripe for an awesome kennel, but just something that I thought was worth noting. The final detail that I just think is really perfect on this kennel is the handles that come on the top. These handles are perfect and super comfortable for being able to carry it yourself if you have to, although it's pretty heavy duty. So I recommend just carrying it with another person. It makes it a lot easier. But the handles on the top are just another detail where you can see that Gunner really paid attention to every little detail of this kennel and made it an awesome experience from loading and unloading to the experience that your dog has in the kennel itself. So lastly, I wanna give you my thoughts on whether or not this is the right kennel for you. But before I do that, please take a minute to like this video and subscribe to my channel if this video has been helpful. And with that, let's move on to my last point. So first I wanna tell you why I got this kennel. I got this kennel because my wife and I have this awesome truck, which we love. Rango's been sitting in the back on a blanket. And honestly, there were a couple issues with this. First of all, I knew this wasn't the safest for my dog, and we could have gotten one of those big hammock things, but then your back seat is totally taken up by this hammock. And so that wasn't a great option for us, especially when my wife got pregnant. Then we knew we'd have a baby in the back seat, so Rango would either have to sit in the front with us or be in the bed. Also, just the shedding in the truck was becoming untenable. We were just so sick of having dog hair everywhere since he was in there all the time. You know, no matter how brushed you keep him, he's still gonna leave a little bit of hair behind. And so for that reason, we figured out that the Gunner Kennel was gonna be right for us. Um, is it gonna be right for you? Well, that depends on a couple factors. First of all, if you're a hunter or you have a working dog that goes with you all the time everywhere, it's probably a no-brainer. But secondly, if you're like us and you have a family dog that goes with you everywhere, if you have the space, it's a great investment. Also, if you're concerned with car cleanliness, I think that it's a great option for people who wanna keep their dog safely contained, but also keep the shedding to a minimum. It really works well for us to mitigate that issue as well. Now, the other thing I will say is I think it's a lot less likely to be the right kennel for you if you have a very small dog. There are probably unique circumstances in which it is right for a small dog to have a gunner kennel, but for the most part, I would say for the traveling mid to large size dog, this is an awesome option. I highly recommend it. I give the gunner five out of five. I don't have any other high-end kennels to compare it to, but as a family dog owner who travels with his dog all the time, everywhere, you know, parks 45 minutes away, hikes in the mountains, uh, family road trips, etc. I couldn't recommend it enough. So with that, that's pretty much it from me, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully this has been helpful to you if you're looking at Gunner Kennels. Also, I'd love if you could leave me a comment below. What is driving or has driven you in the past towards a Gunner Kennel or away from a Gunner Kennel? Is there anything you think I missed? So with that, I can't sign off without uh, you know a horrible dog pun. So I hope you have a doggone awesome day and we'll catch you in the next video.